friends, Running Kimono here, and I am comparing the semi-annual sale going to a store versus going to an outlet. The pros and cons, and uh, just to show you the numbers right off the bat, because this is a couponing channel. In the store, I had a savings of $167 at the outlet, $234, so I think that's like, what, $66 difference? And I got so much more at the outlet, it's absolutely crazy, but... I'm not going to be too biased yet. I'm going to show you the two different hauls and you can be the deciding factor of that. You can let me know in the comments. And I had two of these 10 off 40s. A dear friend gave me one and then I had a home mailer uh, come to my house. If you want to know about these coupons and a couple other savings hacks, visit my video at the very end linked. Uh, it's called uh, Bath and Body Works semi-annual sale for this year. And I just give my five tips on how to save the most amount of money over there. Before I get really into the haul, we're going to talk about the store. I snapped a couple photos in a store on a Monday afternoon, a lot less people, a lot less traffic. And uh, the employees actually really catered to me, which I enjoyed. Uh, so that was kind of nice. They had these bins that you can dig through to look for a lot of treasures. Items were, you know, maybe 40 cents, a little bit higher than at an outlet. But they did have quite a bit on um, this first week of the sale. And um, again, a lot of these sprays and hand soaps, that's what I was specifically looking for at the store very very stocked so over at the outlet uh, everything was signed or the signage was a lot more aggressive like everything on this table was two dollars take it all home now um, and I kind of really appreciated the straightforwardness of that sort of marketing and we had the three dollar bin with the XL lotions the body sprays the lotions and potions and everything that is Bath and Body Works and great my absolute favorite was this table of a lot of $2 stuff. And it wasn't just the little itty bitty soaps. No, they, they, they came to play. There was foaming hand soaps. There was these giant, uh, fragrance mists, uh, a five pack of vanilla bean Noel. I'll show you those a little more closely, like so, so cheap. And then at the very back of the store, like any outlet, they had the $3 candles and they had the $8 candles. The closer you get to the cash register at an outlet, they have more of these like, you know, look at all this cuteness, 75% off. So let's just go through the haul real quick uh, and you'll see which store I like the best. So um, I'm just gonna show you some of the stuff that I got at a regular store. These little, it's like a hand gel. It's like a hand soap gel. Um, yeah, exactly what it is, gentle gel. I got the two different flavors, uh, peach prosecco macaroon, um, basically like a foofy girly sort of um, one, eight fluid ounces. And with the 10 off of 40, they were a buck 54 a piece. So really good price point. And this one's called vanilla cloud. I'm sure that smells absolutely glorious. So I got seven of these and five of these. Now these were only 50% off and it's part of the regular line right now, which is June of 2022. Rainbow cereal, and I really have an affinity for this scent. Um, I think it was formerly known as cereal and cartoons. It's just glorious. It's like that fruity pebble scent. At 50% off, it was $3.10 with the 10 off of 40. And then I wanted to try this one, but I already think it's kind of a mistake. Carnival kettle corn. I'm only going to know when I use it, but maybe just like a light popcorn smell. But then I'm like, do I really want my hands to smell like popcorn? But I pulled the trigger on it for these two. This one I'm already looking forward to. This one I'm not sure about. And then a whole bunch of um, body sprays. And why do I get so many? I gift a lot of this and I just like to have it around. Um, so we're gonna start with the Winterberry. This was more expensive and it's a Christmas scent. So I was kind of perplexed. But this one was um, $3.41 with the coupon. Uh, Easter was $3.40 as well, as was A Thousand Wishes. I don't know if they're discontinuing this or it's an older bottle, but that's part of their Christmas line. Um, Endless Weekend was $3.19, and then the uh, Pink Watermelon was also the same price. It was $3.20, but they fluctuate the price points. I did stock up on Endless Weekend because that's a really nice scent. Um, you would think that some of the holiday stuff, it would be a bit cheaper, but it wasn't the case. The haul I just showed you in store, it, I saved $167.97. I got 22 items. So the subtotal was $60.38. Subtracting the 10 off of 40, the new total was $50.38. I used a Fetch Rewards gift card and paid $0.38 cents plus tax. Smartest way uh, to do one of these, you know, uh, semi-annual sales a clearance event, so you're really not feeling it out of pocket.
My friend Amy gave me her 10 off of 40 because she was gonna skip the event altogether. So I'm oh so grateful about that. And at the outlet, man, I hit the mother load uh, with items and I was really, really excited. So they had a $2 table, guys, and this watermelon one was two bucks. So I got three of them. $1.66 with the 10 off of 40. Gingham, Wild Honey, and Into the Stars, they were all $3 each. But with the 10 off of 40, I got them for $2.48 a pop. So that is a really good price point. This one, an absolute glorious scent. I really like it. This is a Christmas one. This is any time of the year. And this is a summery one. How much fun is that? Okay, so they had an entire back display at the back of the store of really discontinued cheap candles. And I found this, which is cereal and cartoons. So the story of this was, it came out, I believe, um, either last year or two years ago. And I could only buy a wallflower because the six candles they had at the local store vanished right away. And I was very stupid where I was like, oh, I'm gonna wait till they're $11.95 one weekend and just buy it then. I'm not gonna buy it for $22.50. All of them were freaking gone, or 24.50, or whatever the price point is. Everything was gone, and even the single wick candle was gone. And um, yeah, I was just out of luck. So I was shocked and delighted to find these. And these were from a couple years ago. They were three dollars a pop. So I ended up paying um, two dollars and forty-eight cents for each. I'm trying to see how to flip this around. But it basically has a really nice scent. It doesn't say the scent notes back here. Um, it smells like baked goods. It smells like a really nice, like cinnamony, marshmallowy. It's just really, really nice. Uh, but for two dollars and forty-eight cents, you can't beat it. We also have sweet pea for two dollars and forty-eight cents. The original price point is three, with the ten off forty. It's just a classic candle. If I'm gifting a little something, nice to have. And fresh cotton. I like anything with the big laundry notes, and this hits it really hard, so I love it. And then I got one Christmas candle. It was eight dollars, but with the ten off of forty, it was six dollars and sixty-two cents. So if you like the three wicks this is definitely one for you and this smells like christmas baked goods so crushed peppermint vanilla extract creamy butter soft sugar cookies with essential oils my husband who is super fussy with anything scented was like oh my god that candle smells amazing for six bucks wow now this is one i really went um crazy with it's a five pack of the old school vanilla bean noel i think they were making tons of these during the height of the pandemic so i could not help myself two dollar table so they were a dollar 66 with the um 10 off of 40 so that was some tremendous savings i grabbed seven obviously a really good stocking stuffer and vanilla bean noel is a very friendly like baked good kind of scent right up my alley so if i could share anything with you guys go to an outlet possibly by july if you want to partake in this your money will be stretched so much further than a regular store so delighted delighted with my haul and when i saw this in this store i was screaming inside i was like oh my god and i said to the, to the manager who was helping me, I'm like, do you have any more of these? I would have bought every single one because this is so nice. I'm gonna leave this by my desk and whenever I wanna smell it, it's just gonna be the candle right there to make me so happy. Um, I just like all things that smell like awesome baking. <laughs> so this, I was like screaming inside when I saw it in the store and I just snatched the two that I found. Okay, so the last thing I wanna talk about, um, so Vic Victoria's Secret and Bath and Body Works, it's basically the same company. I believe they're owned by the same company. And they're also having a semi-annual sale, giant surprise. And I ordered a couple things online and I just wanted to show a couple of little items I grabbed. So we have this body spray or it's a body mist. It's called Cotton Poppy um, and it was $5.99. This is amazing. It has really nice earthy notes, sandalwood, it's just amazing. I really, really like the scent of it. Um, I wish I bought two. And then this gorgeous blanket. I think the original price point was like $60 in Victoria's Secret Land. And I got it for $9.99. So it's a, it's a really cool black and white. So I'm definitely going to enjoy that. Okay, guys, that's it for this video. We'll catch you in the next one. Bye!